Welcome back to the Light em Up Hot Rod channel. What's up guys? Today is going to be the first video of working on this thing. Um, today we are going to be pulling the... Well, we're just going to start pulling the motor. I need to pull the sniper out because I have somebody interested in buying it. So I'm going to do that today and then this will probably be a few day video. After I get that done, I'm going to start working on getting the motor pulled. And I'll do all that in one video. So hope you guys enjoy it. So for those of you who don't know, this is a Holly Sniper EFI system. It is a throttle body system. It has the whole computer and everything built in with it. It's a self-tuning system. It has a little four inch screen that you uh, set up your tune with. It also has a, a Holly Sniper EFI HyperSpark which is that CDI box in the back, uh, the coil in the distributor, um, all that goes together in a kit. Those wires are the MSD wires that are recommended to go with this setup. This whole setup was super nice. I put it on here because I wasn't planning on pulling this motor out anytime soon, but plans have changed. I've had this truck since February. I've probably only driven it 50 miles at the most. I went to go get an exhaust put on it and that's about it. Um, the truck has been a bunch of problems since I bought it. Uh, day one when I brought it home, I actually broke down on the side of the interstate. Um, AAA towed me the rest of the way home. Thought I had a, a spark issue, put a brand new distributor in it and got the truck running. That was when I swapped this intake and I did a bunch of stuff to it. I was in quarantine and I got late or I got laid off of work. I got furloughed for four months, so I went ham on this truck and I lowered it. I took all the stuff out of the motor. I'll put a stock picture of it. This motor had all of the factory um, EVAP stuff on it. I'm sure none of it worked. It had the factory smog pump on it, which was locked up and didn't work. Factory headers, intake, everything. So pulled all that stuff off. Um, I painted the valve covers, all the accessory brackets, um, put a set of long tubes on it, got it all looking pretty good, put this intake on it, drove it to go get the exhaust put on and it started having fuel issues. Um, the way the factory lines are ran, they are very close to the headers, even the factory exhaust, and it was getting a ton of vapor lock. So instead of me redoing the whole fuel system for the carburetor, I just decided, I already had this Holly Sniper and I just decided, you know what, let's just do it now. So it took me a few weeks to get this all installed, wired, ran all new fuel lines with AN fittings on it, a brand new tank with a Walbro 255 pump in it. Um, See, so did all that, drove it around town, truck kept overheating. Come to find out, I ordered the wrong intake gaskets for it. So got that all fixed, got the truck running good. Radiator started leaking, put a new one of those in it. Uh, finally got the truck running good and then the freeze plugs went out. So this truck had steel freeze plugs from the factory and the one in that back corner had been replaced and that's it. So the two on the driver's side went out at the same exact time. So I got in a really big time crunch for the two guys garage show that I had to take the truck to. So I spent a whole day, replaced both driver's side freeze plugs, got it to stop leaking. And then I was like, well, there's one factory one, the front one on the passenger side. There's only factory one left. And I was like, well, I'll just have to do it later because I didn't have time to do both of them. So, um, the transmission in the truck is pretty much shot. Third gear just, it gets stuck. And if you roll up to a stop sign and don't put it in neutral, you won't be able to get it back out. So trailered it there. They did everything they did to it on the show. Trailered it back. I was gonna do the T56 swap, leave this motor in here, and then decided, you know what? I haven't driven it all year. I might as well just leave it down and just do the LS swap now and get it how I really want it and then hopefully the LS swap will be way more reliable and won't have any more problems for quite a while. So I brought the truck back home yesterday 
and I immediately put this whole sniper system up for sale and I have two people that are interested in it and I think somebody's going to come this Sunday to get it. So first things first is I gotta pull that out and get it all boxed back up so that guy can come buy it so I can use that money to buy the Terminator X system I'm going to be using with the LS. But here we go, let's get started. this truck and I'm sure a lot of you guys can probably see it in the video is this firewall is totally trashed um, that's why I didn't mind drilling self-tapping holes in it because all of this stuff right here I'm pretty sure is just something slapped over rust um, the firewall is pretty much gone this truck needs a cap um, this truck has actually quite a bit more rust on it than I thought when I bought it but I don't really care because in my mind if I make this truck to be super nice nice paint I'm never gonna drive it so now if it gets dinged or scratched or whatever I don't really care because the paint sucks the body's not all that straight it needs a lot of panel replacements uh, but I'm building this truck to be a driver a fun driver something I can go take on road trips not have any problems with it and I don't care if anything happens to it unless somebody totals me out but that being said um, snipers removed all I have left to do is pull out all this wiring and the plug wires because those are going to go with it because on the hyper spark you have to have a I think it's a high ohm wire wrapped in 
copper, some kind of shielded cable because these snipers are bad about RFI and they will mess them up and make them not run right. So I never had any problems with this truck, it always ran great. I see a lot of horror stories of people with RFI issues, um, but I was one of the lucky ones. I did it all correctly. I have extra grounds on my motor, stuff like that that helps out a lot that a lot of people don't do when they install this system in their cars. Um, other than that, it's a great system. I haven't had any problems with it. I didn't even have it long enough to get it to fully finish tuning it. So I had little like hiccups here and there and startup that needed to be tuned out and stuff like that, but didn't get that far. Uh, the Terminator system, I'm going to walk farther with it because that will be on there forever. But I'm going to finish this up and yep, that will probably be it for today. Um, this will probably be a multiple day video. Uh, next video I'll probably be pulling all the accessories, uh, the headers, um, getting ready to heater hoses radiator is going to come out, stuff like that, but I'm going to get back to it. guys I think that's pretty much gonna be it for this video um, I was gonna do a two-part into one video thing but I think this was long enough I'm just gonna make a video out of it um, but the sniper is removed I have to remove this sensor and take the screen out and that's left or that's it and um, yeah stay tuned next we're gonna be pulling headers and accessories off and undoing what couple of wires are actually used on this motor especially now that that's gone there's only the one on that oil pressure sensor which needs to come out and the coolant temp and the alternator, that's it. Everything else is non-electronic which is great. But um, I'm going to do those few things. Mechanical linkage has got to come out for the clutch, drive shaft, um, shifter, and it'll pretty much be ready to pull. I think when I pull it I'm going to pull the whole front core support out just so when I pull it I can literally just come up a few inches and straight out of the truck I don't have to go up and over and take the hood off and do all that so try to make things a little easier especially when I'm doing it in my garage and my driveway is so slanted I can't really back my truck up to pull the motor out so what I'm thinking is gonna end up happening is I'm gonna get some wheel dollies probably turn the truck 180 just to pull the motor out and then turn it back this way so I can do all of my prep in here for vintage air and LS motor. But thanks to you guys for watching and stay tuned. Hopefully I have another video out here pretty soon. Peace.